Igas Fiantek gets the victory. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. You want to watch this entire video. We're going to take a look at Igas Fiantek and what she does well and some possible areas of her game that may be exploited. Let's get into it, guys. Okay, what did we see there? We saw Igas Fiontech pressured on the baseline with powerful forehands. This is why players like Elena Rabikina, who's beat her three times this year, she's beat her four times overall. This is why she's had success facing Igas Fiontech, right? Because of that powerful forehand. She's able to keep her behind the baseline. You saw Igas Fiontech set down with a rocket of a forehand from Petra Marchik. And she mix it up with the drop shot. Iga's Fiontek, I say it all the time, Iga has the best footwork on tour, but she's not the fastest. Now, that may not make sense to a lot of people. I'm going to show you shortly why that makes sense and how that makes sense. I'm going to say it again. Iga's Fiontek has the best footwork on tour, but she's not the fastest player on tour. Let me show you why. Target. All right. Pressure that forehand, and she tends to overhit. This is why Sabalenka and Elena Rabikina keep that pressure on Iga Swiatek's forehand deep behind the baseline. Look at where she is behind the baseline. Now I'm going to show you why she's not the fastest player on tour, and this is why you need to mix in more net play. I said Coco Golf at the French Open. She had success with the drop shots. I'm not sure why she went away from it, but you have to mix in baseline pressure and short balls with Iga Fiontek. Her, fo her footwork is amazing, the best in the business. But I say, in terms of fastest players, number one is Coco Golf. Number two is Clara Burrell. Number three is a toss-up between Teichman and Layla Fernandez. Then I put Iga Fiontek in there, probably around fifth. I'm going to show you why right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at her chase down this drop shot. Look at that. She has the stop, cut, move forward very slow. Now, Petra missed that drop shot, but Igas Fiontek does not move that fast when it comes to vertical, just sprinting from the baseline. She's not the fastest on tour, but she has the best footwork. Understand why? Because she's able to close out well. She's able to meet the ball at its peak. Other players, that split-second difference gives Igas Fiontek the advantage in these rallies, and that's how she's able to turn defense into offense, offense into defense, and put you behind the rally covering, right? Now, the reality here, she gets the victory. Petra Marchik, I thought, played much better in the second set, and you can see her improving uh, each time she goes out and faces Igas Fiontek. I was a little bit disappointed she didn't do a lot of these things in the first set. I felt she lost some of her confidence when she blew the three break point opportunities on Iga's first service game. But nonetheless, guys, enjoy the coverage. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned for more tennis coverage. Carolyn Garcia's in trouble!